So, hey there, listener. This is Do You Want to Make a Podcast? Yes, that is the name of the show. We just have a couple bullet points that we need to hit before we start. One, there's a fireplace. It's fake. I've ruined everything. <laughs> Wait, should we start over? <laughs> Take two. Hello, listener. You are you are listening to, because you're a listener. Take three. <laughs> This is... Wait, we should establish, like, what we want to talk about. What are the bullet points we need to hit here? I I got it. I got it. Okay, so we tell them that the show is called Do You Want to Make a Podcast? It is a fireside chat between two best friends who are on the hunt to create the perfect podcast. They have a lot of ideas, and they can't decide what they want to talk about. Okay. That's pretty much it. That's it. We that's 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 the synopsis. Like, then we'll then we'll plug the do we social want to media. Do like social media. Yeah, stuff? yeah, yeah. So so we'll tell them to follow us at Do You Want to Pod, all spelled out. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also email us at Do You Want to Make a Podcast at Gmail dot com. That's it. That works for me. Wait, I think we just did it. We did it. That was my that was my plan all along. Oh, okay. Bye. bye. Except hello, because now the show's starting. Yes, it is. Alrighty. Ah. Alright, so <laughs> we're gonna let's part the curtain a little bit, Joseph. Oh. It's a two show day. It's a two doche. Yes it is. Two doche. Two show day. Where uh, we just finished recording last week's episode. Episode thirty. So thirty. We've recorded thirty episodes. Wow. Thanks for everyone who's come uh, on this journey with us. It feels like we're turning thirty and there's a there's a connotation about turning 30 that you're supposed to have your life together, all this stuff. I just, I just feel just as young and ambitious as I do when we started episode one. 30's just a number. Jim was checking his phone. Are you having all a? That, are so. you having, wait? Are you having a midlife podcast crisis? I'm not having a mid pod crisis. No. What? <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. Is that why you bought this new mic setup? Because you you're having a. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I've, that was a very calculated and well thought out purchase. It's an investment. My hair is not falling out. I'm fine. Okay. Hey, Jim Bloss. But, but the, the question really is, hey, Joe Godley. Yes, Jim Bloss. Do you want to make a podcast? Yes, I do. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 That is the... Uh, the drum is still here. The drum of starting. The transition has been drum. Played. Did you already switch the lists? I did. Okay, so... All right, so we got some lists this time. For, for new listeners, uh, we're on the quest to make a perfect podcast, can't decide what we want to make, and to come up with ideas, we each write ideas down... F- to come up with ideas, we each write down ideas. And to come up with ideas, we swap lists of thoughts. We write stuff down, and then we read it. And then the other one reads it, and then we we say things. Sounds good. All right, let's do that. Okay, so one of these T's looks like F's. So this is a podcast about fantasy football. Not football. Football. Now, what is football? Football is a game played. It's like it's like soccer on a horse. So the hoofs of the horse are kicking the soccer balls. So like. Okay, the kids today play Rocket League, and in that game, cars kick a ball around. That's true. But hey, before that, that there game were... is great. Have you ever played Rocket League? I did not enjoy playing Rocket League. Really? I love Rocket League. It's a lot of fun. But this is about football, Jim. Okay, football. Sorry. Uh, and in before there were cars, there were horses. So take the idea of Rocket League, scale it back a couple hundred years, and you have people riding horses, and the horses kick this ball around into the respective goals. Football. Football. But fantasy football. So you want to pick the best footballers and the best horses and the best. So yes. now, so now are the so now the, are people? Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Are people riding these horses? Do people ride the horses? Yes. For, first off, have you just invented polo? That's when you're riding a horse, but you're 
moving balls. The rider moves the ball around with, with a mallet. With a mallet. This is the horse moving the ball this around. All the with horse. their hoofs. But yes. there are riders. Mm -hmm. And the real question is, who's directing who? Are the horses the ones? No, 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 no. Who's directing whom? Thank you. You're welcome. I needed that. <laughs> I'm so mad I didn't catch that. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> but so yeah, are the horses driving? Are the horses <laughs> calling the shots? <laughs> I'm calling like, the shots saying like, I'm going to kick the ball over here. Yeah. Are all the horses Mr. Ed? Could be. I don't know. I mean, Mr. Ed would have had to clone himself. That's true. But yes. Or maybe... Close relations of Mr. Ed? Mrs. Ed. Mrs. Ed. And then Cousin Ed. Cousin Ed. Auntie Ed. Yeah. Uncle Ed. Uncle Ed. And Ed Jr. Are all... Are all football players. Football players. Now, they're, they're the horses or they're the people atop the horse? I forget. No, they're the horses. They're the horses. Okay. But they speak. Yes. So these are... So can only talking horses play football? I think... But they still require someone to ride them. Yeah, I think, like, they they... They advertise like equal opportunity horses, like horse play, but in reality, only talking horses find their way into hoofball. To hoof find, find their way into find their way into professional football. Professional football, there is a talking requirement. Yeah, it's not it's, a talking it's an requirement. It's like it's like it's not a perfect system. They haven't really caught up with the times. Yeah, but for now, it's all we have. About all the not talking horses that have. Yeah. Because it takes a lot of time, energy, resources, money to teach horses to speak. Right. And so, so what you're saying is, is there's a certain level of privilege that is required to become a great football player. Yes, because you get uh, speech lessons from the so time kind of you're like, a tiny horse. Right. So kind of like the same same concept as like the best uh, people playing classical music from a young age. People of privilege can afford the instruments. And, and the lessons, the lessons and, to play right. in these, like, uh, you know, metropolitan opera. What is it? What's the... Symphonies. Playing the symphonies. And the opera houses. And the opera houses. But the symphony is the group of musicians that play, right? Uh, I think that's correct. Yeah, the symphony I'm is not, not a location. I, I'm not going to pretend that I know. <sighs> Damn it, I'm a football expert, not an orchestra man. Uh so, yes, only talking horses, in reality, make it to the pros. Uh, but all horses are technically welcome to try out for uh, football. And I think what the podcast of fantasy football can track is the relationship between horse and rider. Right. Because it's like these horses aren't going to allow just anyone to ride atop them. Right. And really delving deep into in a game that is just... Why do we even need riders? Right. You know? So right. what do the riders bring to the table? Right. So now, these riders, do they have to be... Are they just like horse girls? Or are they like... Like... First explain to me what a horse girl is. You've never heard the concept of a horse girl. No. A horse girl is basically a girl who loves horses. Oh. The end. Okay, great. That's kind of... That's Fantastic. Kind of but there's like a whole subclass of white girl that, is, that are <laughs> horse girls. Fantastic. Uh, okay, yeah, with you. Uh, no, I don't think that it's just a bunch of horse girls or guys uh, on top of these football horses. I think... Hmm, there's There's got to be a whole other component to the game that, that we're missing here. Why the rider? I'll get there. Oh, right! Because the, the riders have bows and arrows. And they're just trying to kill the other horses. Whoa! I know, it's terribly violent. It's a Whoa. bloody, bloody game. Football gets real. Whoa! Yeah, so these riders are more just like archers. So there's right. two games going on. There's the football. There's the actual football of, of the horses of the trying horses. to get the ball into a net. A yes. net? It's a net? It's a net. Okay. It's a net. And, and then there's these archers riding atop them that are, it's just a matter of life and death. Now, are the are the archers trying to hit the horses or the people? That depends on the archer. It's supposed to be uh, only at the at the other humans. 
Okay, so but if they hit a horse, play does but occur. if they hit a horse, are they getting penalized? Is there a referee? If the referee is a honorable referee, now is the yes. referee stop everything? Is the referee an actual zebra? <laughs> because if he's not, I'm no longer interested. Oh, oh, so zebras are not easy to book for football games. Right. There's a lot of, uh, cons wire, you know, wireless like conservationists. Like sounds like you're telling me no, which is unacceptable. I'm not telling you that. Okay. I'm telling you that there are, like, for, like, you know, the championship game, it's, all, it's an all-zebra set of referees. But with how widely, uh, with how much football has grown, there is not nearly enough zebras in the uh -huh, world. Uh -huh. And they don't like, not all zebras enjoy cold climates. So there's some finicky zebras out there. So all this to say, uh, every football league has like a resident zebra referee, uh -huh. but games are sometimes refed by painted horses. Okay. You know, but there is a yeah. zebra around. But the zebra is like the head. Yeah. The head, head ref. ref. Yeah, totally. Of the league. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I can work with that. You know, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, as we were saying, when... If a horse is hit by an arrow, that's supposed to be like a penalty. Two arrows is a red card. Now, uh, the football itself. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the football. Yeah. This is a round ball, like a typical round ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, a size. Give me a size. So, uh, think a soccer ball. Okay. Sized in proportion to a horse. So just times two a soccer ball. And that's it. Times two the area of the soccer ball, times two the volume of a soccer ball. Joseph, all these measurements times are different. Times two the radius. All of. Now, because if you. Can, 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 can control A a soccer ball, select all. Okay. Times two is a football. That's not how measurements work, but fine. <laughs> I'm a child of technology. If you, if you multiply, so. No, I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop. I'm about to get, like, <laughs> real crazy. Uh... No, screw it. I'm going to say it. If you multiply the radius of the soccer ball by two, uh -huh. you will multiply the surface area of the soccer ball by four and the volume of the soccer ball by eight. Because the radius is in linear inches, and then, therefore, the surface area is in square inches, mm -hmm. so you have to square the thing that you're multiplying by. Right. And the... Volume is in cubic inches, so you have to cube the number that you're multiplying. All right, by. Jim, you let, let me put this another way. Take a soccer ball. Okay. Cut it open. Okay. Take another soccer ball. Okay. Cut that open. Sew those together. That won't work! Football. That will not make a round ball. It will with enough air inside of it. Yes, it will. No, it won't. It will How not be a sphere. I just said it was a ball. I never said it was a sphere. I said, is it round like a ball? And you said yes. <laughs> to my eyes, it's round. It's, is it a perfect sphere? This is what makes football such a difficult game to play. Are you, you did you mean football? Football. What because did you I say? Said football. The football that is kicked with the foot of the horse, other known as the hoof. I just realized that football is a combination of football and hoofball. You're just making that connection? Yes! Man, Jim, get with the program. I can't believe I didn't realize we that until now. We haven't gotten into the horse armor. Like, these horses have to be able to wear extensive armor to, like, shield themselves from the arrows, which is not supposed to happen, but it does. Almost every game, Well, I happens. mean, of course, like, a goalie where a goalie in hockey wears a mask, but he doesn't expect to get a puck to the face. Fair. But, like, you know, there was this whole thing with, like, horses getting concussed, and there's been, like, there's been a whole slew of advancements in the horse armor alone. Uh, the archers... Now, what is the horse armor made of? Are we talking, like, steel? Are we talking Kevlar? Are we talking... So that is a uh, element of strategy. So if you want faster horses, they're wearing, like, leather armor, but they're more susceptible to arrow. Uh, so, like, the d horses on defense... This is some D&D &D shit now. Yeah, so the horses on defense are wearing metal because not only are they uh, bigger, they also want to just be able to, like, ram into other horses. Oh, so there is ramming. So this is a contact Absolutely. sport for oh, the horses. Oh, yeah. 
For sure. Okay. Now, I don't know how much you know about horses. Tons. Okay. Horses are... And, and I'm just going to put this out front. I'm about to talk about uh, horse destruction. So just be ready for that, listeners at home. Horses are very fragile animals. Mm -hmm. Very fragile. Right. How many horses... Uh, and I have learned this from another podcast that discuss, is, discusses horses on the regular. Uh, my Brother, My Brother, Me. Great podcast. Highly recommend yeah. Uh, if you enjoy this podcast, you'll definitely enjoy that podcast, and hopefully vice versa. Uh, but I learned from that podcast that uh, the technical term for having to uh, euthanize a horse oh. due to uh, injury mm -hmm. is that the horse is destroyed. <laughs> wow. Um, I guess, yeah, no, no need to sugarcoat it. How many horses are destroyed in a typical game of foofball? Because they're very fragile animals, so if they're fighting into each other, I can only imagine yeah. that... Um, You'd think yeah. that. Are you ready for a secret? Yeah. There has never been a horse that has died in a game or due to a foofball-related injury. Wow, that's... Not one. Really? Really. Even with all the bows and arrows? That's right. Because there are dark sorcerer medics that bring these horses <laughs> back to life. Hold everything. Yep. Are you saying these are undead horses? Some of them. Yeah. Wow. Zombie horses. Zombie horses. Now, what about the humans riding them? Now, when they get Oh, they shot die all the time. <laughs> There is an extensive amount of human death in football, but that's there's. But it comes with the territory. But it comes with the territory. It's the risk that everyone is willing to make. Yeah, for the glory of football. Because totally. it is. Because now people call uh, football, and when I say football, I mean the soccer game. I mean European football. Uh huh. Um, they call that the beautiful game. Right. But I would argue because this game uh, is full of horses. That this game is the beautiful. Game. Is the beautiful game. Yeah. Full of these majestic creatures mm -hmm. that just run up and down the field chasing this lumpy ball. <laughs> yeah. Made up of two soccer balls. Mm -hmm. uh, wearing armor while people on the back of them shoot arrows at each other. Yeah. Now, and some, how, uh, and some, some humans okay. just wear shields, by the way. Not all of them. And no clothes at all. No clothes. <laughs> just shields. Correct. Okay. And they ride bareback on the horse, so it is really a oh, that's, challenge. That is raw. Yeah, the male the male football horse riders are a very resilient bunch. Yes. I clearly. give them a lot of credit. Or they're eunuchs. Could be. I've never looked <laughs> to find out. But next football match, Jim, if you if no, you I find mean, I'm out, not, for I'm me, not gonna. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not nah. We'll just leave a little to the imagination. Yeah. Um. At one more point that I need. Oh, we need to. What? How? How do win football? How do win football? Hmm. Yes. Uh. Well, score a goal. Win football. Kill all humans. Win football. So wait, you score just one goal, you win. Yes. So it's uh, so this game could be over in like it's it's meant ten for seconds. people with a short attention span. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, or if the horses are that skilled, it could rage on for hours. Oh, okay. days. Days. Uh, so score goal, win football, kill other team humans, win football. Uh, horses can also all just declare that they're tired and they can settle down and have like a negotiation. This is where it gets really boring. They just sit down, the tables are brought out. Uh -huh. They all dress up in suits. Uh -huh. And they sit around and they determine who has won that game of football. Oh, so they like negotiate a win. They negotiate a win. Yeah. Wow. It becomes a battle of the minds it at that point. It becomes like a model UN situation. More or less. Wow. And meanwhile, the humans are running around making backroom deals. It just sort of turns into like... Washington, right? Yeah, that's that's not my favorite way 
for football. It's like no, it, it doesn't. It becomes like either blood football, sport like. or boring bureaucracy. Yeah, is football. Yeah, a lot going on. Fascinating. I know, right? I still can't get over that combination between football and hoofball. Hey, very good. I didn't invent the sport, Jim. Very I'm just good. here to tell you about it. You're so right. So I think that's a good first episode. So that way, uh, on our next episode discussing fantasy foofball, mm -hmm. uh, we can actually discuss the fantasy <laughs> aspect. You're so right. It's just we needed to we, we needed need to, to educate <laughs> we needed to educate the listeners on what is foofball and how win foofball and, <laughs> and how do win foofball. Um, uh, what is foofball? What foofball? What foofball? Where how, foofball? How foofball? These how, are all the how questions. How do win foofball? How do how do foofball? Uh, that's a conversation for who, another time. Who foofball? Who? Well, I think we've answered a lot of those questions. Mm -hmm. uh, so and then the episode time, two, we'll get into the fantasy. We'll get into the, the fantasy. Uh, fantasy foofball. What do you have on your list, my friend? Uh, so I would like to uh, take a second and uh, combine two of my things on my list. Go for it. Uh, and really, I'm not going to use them. Love a combo them, meal. I'm not going to use them as titles. I'm going to just use them as um, sort of a jumping off point. Go for it. Two of the things written on this list are uh, Mickey Louse mm -hmm. and Hunky Dory. So with both of those things, I pictured like rejected Disney characters. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. So I would like to make uh, basically, basically, I think we're going to make a Mickey Louse clubhouse. Um, the Mickey Louse club. The Mickey, yeah, the Mickey Louse club of of rejected <laughs> of rejected uh, Disney characters. Mm -hmm. Basically, Disney first drafts. Oh right. Um. Well, and so like Donald Truck's going to be there. Donald Truck, yes, Donald yeah. Truck, yeah. He's a truck named Donald. Yeah, I can and, easily see why they scrapped that. And uh, and Foofy, who's a fancy a fancy dog. Uh huh. Instead of he's a poodle. Yeah. 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 And there's not much room to go on when like you have a character who's like yeah. so perfect. Right. That doesn't make for an interesting story. So right. they were like, yeah, that's out. Yeah, no, that's out. Uh, uh, we have we have uh, Whiny the Pooh. Uh, Who wants to listen to Whiny the Pooh? Christopher Robin. Yeah. yeah. I'm hungry. Exactly. Christopher, he's Eric Carmen. Yeah. Christopher Robin, can you um, can you bring me some some honey and maybe some pants? I don't know. Maybe give me some goddamn pants. Yeah. It's yeah. No. Yeah, no. We don't no, need that. We don't need that. No. Uh, except we do need that for the Mickey Louse. Clubhouse. For the Mickey for for the podcast, sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, but Disney didn't. Uh, I think um, you know we have Hunky Dory, which obviously is a is a buff fish. And that's, and that's it. In Finding Nemo, initially, Dory was like this jacked sort of gym yeah, rat. She was she was shredded. She was so shredded, but like again, there's not much room. Like that's not a compelling right. character. And she was still like dumb as rocks and like super forgetful and stereotypical. But she was also just jacked, and it just like made for like a really weird. Really weird uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. It was oh, like well, fish. It was like fish aren't supposed to be that strong. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know. And it's like, and how do you draw that too? The fins have biceps, and that doesn't work for swimming necessarily. So yeah, fish would just sink. Yeah, there's weird. there's a lesson there with if you get too and, strong. Yeah, and happens. I mean it didn't. It just didn't read super well because like they would put ab, they put abs on like either side of her, <laughs> and like so it just looked like a bunch of like big. Bulging things. And I think Ellen DeGeneres just didn't know what to do with that. Right, yeah. She and was it, like, she was like, I don't know how to sound like that. That. Like that. Yeah. Like that so, fish. so Disney scrapped it. Let's talk about Mickey Louse himself. Okay. This is a this is an insect, and this is like a light like a one of many lice, right? A louse? Isn't that isn't that the singular I think, of lice? I think uh, I mean I just thought I just thought about Mickey Louse. Like a louse is in like um like a good for nothing. Like I don't I don't I'm not sure I know what a louse is. Uh let's Google it because I don't I don't want to say the wrong thing because sometimes when we say the wrong thing we get people We go to a place. We get people upset with us. We get hate mail, we get yeah. death threats. So you're there are there are two you you are thinking of the um formal definition, which is a small wingless parasite para 
parasitic insect. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me cut that. Uh, so it's a small, wingless, parasitic insect that lives on the skin of mammals and birds. And I was thinking of the informal definition, which is a contemptible or unpleasant person. Right. Uh, so both of these were nixed by Disney. By Disney. So we have two there Mickey actually, Louses. There are two Mickey Louses, yes. One is... <laughs> one is so is small, we can't even interview yeah. that creature. And the other one is a mouse that's... Just shitty. Just a shitty mouse. What if Mickey Louse lives on the head of the Mickey. mouse Mickey Louse? Right. The Mickey Mouse Louse. Right, the mouse Louse. Is the... Oh, House of Louse! That's what I was trying to think of. House before. of Louse. Because House of Mouse... Mickey's Mouse of House is a real is a real thing. So this is Mickey's Mouse... House of Louse. Mickey's Mouse House... Houses... Louses... Yes, the Louse House of Blouses. He wears a blouse. He in the wears louse a. House. <laughs> Mickey Louse wears a blouse inside his house. Yeah. And. I'm trying to think. Man. I know, me yeah. too. Mouse, louse, blouse. Uh... Uh, grouse, but I don't know how to work that in. Ah, fuck. This is a hard one. Yeah, this is a tough one. <laughs> there aren't as many words. And sometimes there. gets lost in the souse. <laughs> mixes the sauce. He mixes his sauce. Give me that sauce. Oh, yeah. Give me that sauce. Oh, is that how Mickey Mouse? <laughs> Sorry, Mickey Louse sounds? Yeah, it's me, Mickey Louse. I can see why they cut you, Mr. Louse. You're, yeah. not, you're, not, very agree you're not a very agreeable fellow. Look, I do what I want. And I say what I want. And I'm Mickey Louse. You know, yeah. you know, you know Mr. Louse, I think you would work beautifully in Trump's America. This might be the time for you to... Uh, that's right. Make America great again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can, ah. Uh -huh. I can see why you were not uh, premiered, but now you would have raging success. So, uh, Mr. Laos, why don't you give us the premise of uh, your soon-to-be feature film? Nope. Not gonna. Not gonna say. Not gonna say that because that would be bad. Uh, just. Just building the wall. Just, yeah, just building the wall. Is that, so it's a documentary. In in general, yeah. Yeah, you building walls. Uh, oh, it's all about me building walls. I love building walls. So not just border walls, but like uh, mainly border walls. But I mean, the, you know, it's what I in have. the U.S. or other countries too. Or you just no, mainly around? make America great again. Okay, America first, of course. All right, I'm gonna teleport you out of here, Mister Laos, because you bother. What are what are you talking? God, oh. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. <sighs> I mean, it was pretty terrible. there is a You could lot. tell that he wanted to say something like really heinous before he said the wall. Yeah. Uh, good on him, though, for holding back. There is a lot of meat on that bone. That could be a podcast, but it's not one that I want to make. No. So maybe next time we'll just interview uh, the lice the version. The, yeah. the, the louse yeah. on Mickey's head. Is, is louse the plural of lice? I think that, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, that's what I had on on the list. Yeah, or we could just we could just look at the other rejected Disney characters instead of Mickey. Yeah, it's Mickey's. Mickey's I think, I think house. Foofy, Foofy, and Donald Truck. There's a lot of meat on those boats. <laughs> Hunky Dory. Let's yes, see. Yes, I am. I am Foofy. Oh, hello, Foofy. Oh, hello, Jim. So good <laughs> to meet you. Now, Foofy, uh, why do you think that you were? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you do a little bit of self-reflection here, Foofy. Of course, I do not mind going inside myself. Okay. Um. Oh, this is so dumb. You want to know why I was rejected? Yes. Yes, I do want to. I, uh, I want to. I want to know why you were rejected. I was why? rejected because Mrs. Disney she fell in love with me. You see. Oh, really? Yes. Yes, I had a. Romantic relationship. Oh. With Mrs. Disney. Oh. Not in the way you are thinking. It was more of, it was an affair of the heart, you see. We were never physical because that is disgusting. I am a poodle. She was human. But you see, her heart was no longer with what it was with me. It was with Fufi, you see. I see. I ripped out her heart with my jaws. And I carried it around. I see. You had her heart. Um, Jace. That sounds like quite uh, the adventure in and of itself, uh, Foofy. 
now, why don't you tell me about some of the other uh, uh, people there in the House of Laos? Uh, do you have any? Do you, you have, have any my you have my good friend Donald Truck. Yeah, Donald Truck. Yes, he's not much of a talker. He just kind of honks his. Donald, why don't you honk your horn so we know you are here? Ah, yes. Uh, that is a good car is. horn. Yes. Hello, Donald. <laughs> Donald Truck, he is a sensitive soul. Yeah? Yes. Can you speak? Do you, do, do you speak car horn? I do speak car horn. Let me hear what this. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. The poetry that emanates from this man. Oh, can you share? Please. He says, roses are red, violets are blue. Uh huh. My name is Donald, but I do not hate minorities. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How about you? Oh, there I it is. I do not hate minorities There's... either, Donald. <laughs> There's the rhyme. I knew it was in there somewhere. Jace. Oh, great. That's a great poem. Oh, I like this Donald. Let's get it. See. Let's get it printed in, uh, in Poetry Weekly. Jay said it's always been Donald's aspiration to be the feature poet <laughs> of Poetry Weekly. Yes, excellent. Wow, that's great. But now you see a car, a truck. Excuse me, a truck, <laughs> who is a poet but cannot speak. That is not the story that makes for a good movie. So Donald was rejected. Now, how does Donald feel about uh, the success of other cars that have uh, found fame with the Disney Empire, such as Herbie, the Love Bug, or just the cars in Cars? The talking cars, Jace, Jace. Yes. The cars that talk English. See, Donald was stunted because he did not speak English. Right. But let me see. What? I mean, Herbie, oh. Her Herbie the Love Bug also only speaks car horn he does but and he's he a passenger car donald truck he is a he is like a giant oh truck. donald truck oh my gosh i didn't i see i can only hear donald trunk because we're here in the studio um can't see him is donald truck a uh a like an 18 wheeler he's like 18 truck. wheeler truck oh Jeez. okay i was not that's not what i was picturing oh see yeah when when he first honked is he was farther away his scenes rolled up and now you hear the true power yeah. of his horn. What? Oh, wow, yeah. H really, H hear, H really hear that power. Now, let's see. What? Now, Donald, what do you think about the other cars that have gone on to Disney fame and fortune? He wishes them well. He's such, an, such a kind, compassionate truck. You see, it's not, stories are not made of the best of us, Jim. Stories are not made of the loving, caring, compassionate people. Stories are made of people who are tortured, who are broken, or vo voiced by Owen Wilson in the Cars, in the Cars uh, franchise. You see, this loving, gentle 18-wheeler truck, that's not a money maker. That's just a nice guy. And so he was rejected. That's true. Donald, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you did not uh, get... Uh, the part in Cars you for the so big truck. You so underappreciated, my friend. And instead it went to uh, John Ratzenberger, who gets parts in every Pixar movie. Like, what the heck? He must have written... He could have taken one off. He must have written the fine print in his contract, that, that sneaky, sneaky man. So sneaky. But Jace. Well, Foofy, uh, thank you for this candid uh, sharing. You are no, you are, it is no problem, Jim. And you too as well, uh, Donald Truck. He says, you are welcome. <laughs> I mean, I figured as much. <laughs> oh, do you speak car horn now? No, 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 I'm just assuming, really. Oh, okay. Well, Which, you know what they say about assuming. What do they say? They say, you shouldn't. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, I forgot about that great line. Line is old this time. Well, I'm going to, to go tear the hearts out of other people now. Okay, Foofy. I have a hunger, you see. <laughs> and I don't want to tear your heart out. Jim, I would love for you to not because do Because I can tell Foofy. you have much more to live for. So, I'm so going much. To, I'm going to go find other people and rip out their hearts. Okay. Thank you, Foofy. Goodbye. Bye now.
That dog was terrifying. I think that dog might have been related to Triumph, the insult comic dog, a little bit. Yeah? Maybe a little bit. I don't know who that is. You've never seen Triumph before? No. I love Triumph. That's it. I I, I don't really want to talk about Triumph right now. We'll cut that. Yeah. I'll show you some Triumph later. Okay. He's great. I'm a big fan. Um, But yeah, a, 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 a fancy poodle that kills people. 18, eats, eats their hearts eats out. Their, eats their hearts out. Uh, 18 wheelers that just want to write poetry and look at sunsets. Uh, beautiful folks, but not not yeah. blockbuster film material. No. And uh, yeah, that's why they're in the Laos house. House of Laos. Is it House of Laos? I... Sorry, we've... So there's so the Mickey Laos, there's the Mickey Laos clubhouse. Right, right. And then there's also Mickey's House of Laos. House of Laos. Um, I feel like that's a reality show. Yeah. The House of Laughs. Yeah. I'm not into reality. I like The Great Bitter Bake Off and RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh-huh. And Queer Eye. Talk about that, too. Yeah. I've mentioned all these things previous. I'm just, you know, establishing reality TV. That it's canon. Like. Yeah, it's canon. <laughs> uh, right up there with Sea Lion, Tree Lion. Best canon we have. Uh, if by best canon you mean the only canon that could... Uh, Get shot into the sun so that it's never seen again. I agree. Wow. hey Okay. Sea Did you like that tree- connection of like canon and canon though? Yeah, yeah, that was that was great. But I'm. Thank you. But sea lion tree lion is is like our best idea yet, and I've been giving you episodes without bringing it up because I know you're not fully on board yet, Jim. But one day. When we make that Sea Lion Tree Lion podcast and it gives you just oodles and oodles of money, I can't wait for you to say, you know what, Joe? You were right. Sea Lion Tree Lion. You're right, Joe. You're right. Uh, maybe one day I will say that. Mm-hmm. I don't think today is that day, though. I will patiently wait. I admire tenacity. And the world waits. Uh, but yeah, we covered a lot of ground today, I think. Fantasy foofball. I'm excited to. I'm just excited to discuss the fantasy aspect of foofball now that we've educated yeah. all the listeners on the ins and outs. On what is foofball? On what is foofball? And uh, the Laos House. Uh, Got to admit, it's just confusing me. So for that reason, it's not my top choice. But we we could revisit it. No, I mean there's a reason that those characters are rejected. Right. But I think uh, next week we should definitely. Uh, come up with some other ideas. Yeah, we'll um, see. We'll see what what we can churn up in the next week. Those are our thoughts and feelings. But as always, listeners, there's a there's a survey link in the show notes where you can vote on your favorite idea. Be sure to tell a friend. And you can also share in that in that survey. You can also share uh, your ideas for us. Yeah. Uh, and maybe we'll talk if we get enough. Maybe we'll uh, make an episode just based all around. User submissions. That would be cool. I don't know why I called them users, but... They... Well, we offer, we provide a service. They use our service. They use our podcast. Yeah. For, hopefully, joy. To, to, to kill time on their commutes <laughs> while they're cleaning the house. Ah, uh, yes. To kill time. That's what I use podcasts for. That's true. Who would I be if I expected anything more of our listeners? You're so right. Be a real... Uh, be a real Mickey Louse. A real Mickey Louse. And with that... Bye, Mom. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. I don't need your mile long bridge. Williamsburg is too expensive. Fuck the A train. Am I insane? No, I'm just never going back. Unless you force me to smoke crack.